This is Ireland in a camper van. It's Dana. This summer we got to explore the beautiful country of Ireland in a camper van. This was our first international trip since before COVID and the airports were crazy. But we landed safely in Dublin, grabbed our bags and caught a ride to pick up our van. the van so Mike got a little test run with the owner I was a little bit nervous so anywho we have just decided that we are going to go get groceries at a town called Bray the guy recommended that we get out of Dublin and go to a smaller town so that it's not as busy for, for this large vehicle so we're gonna find groceries. Yeah, I gotta say, it's it's really interesting driving on. Not only are we driving on the left side of the road instead of what we're used to, it's also in a big van, and it's also manual transmission. Uh, so all those things together, it's kind of like a, you know, you gotta be kind of on your toes the whole time. And I'm, I'm sure I'll get used to it after a little while, but for now it is a little bit nerve wracking. We'll give you guys a more in-depth <laughs> van tour later. Right now we just gotta concentrate we on need to getting focus. out of here. And we've had zero sleep. Well, I have we're anyways. zero sleep, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's technically nighttime for us. We're still probably pretty jet lagged. But it's all good. Let's do w this. Wish us luck. Yeah. All right. Grocery shopping. We are getting food. <laughs> I think you can drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't even drive a shopping cart from my life. The Here, I'll do this. Mm, she looks pretty good. So far, oh my god, that cow is humping yeah. the other one. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just kind of getting ready. I really do like how, you know, we can just walk up to the front here and just drive away. I don't know. It's just like, how are you even putting your shoes on? Without a, you don't have to put your shoes on or really get changed or anything. Like, it's different than trailer life for sure. All right, friends. So this morning we are headed off to our next campsite. We are going to hit up a gas station first to go to the bus room. Um, and then drive about three, four hours to this next spot. We are headed toward Cork. And yeah, hopefully get a nice little beach spot. Hopefully the weather clears up because Ireland is truly showing its true moody self today. Still gorgeous. We're still enjoying our little drive so far. Pretty cool. So I guess at most gas stations, or maybe at most Circle K gas stations here in Ireland, you can get free water. That makes like topping up water on the road and stuff here really easy. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna test out the shower in this van for the first time. Uh, since we're here at like the water fill station, we figured we might as well shower and then refill it back up again. Okay, so to set up the shower in here, we gotta get these curtains. Wrap it around everything. <laughs> the shower's so <laughs> tight and small. All right, thoughts on wet bath showers? <clears throat> no. <laughs> it is a pain in the butt to use these kind of showers. I guess we're just spoiled <clears throat> with our trailer and having like a bigger bathroom and stuff like that. But, um, and plus like we're not level at all right now. So like all the water wasn't even going into the drain. It was actually like spilling out onto the floor here in the main area. Uh, so, but it's, it's really tight in there and like not comfortable <laughs> or anything like that. So. We are on our way to our next campsite. 
hopefully it goes really well. This one is by the ocean. So cross our fingers, this one works out. And yeah, I guess we'll see you when we get there. Well guys, this is part of the Wild Atlantic Way, a super famous driving route here in Ireland. And uh, we are going to find a campsite nearby, hopefully. this wheel. Oh my god you guys! Look at the view from our bedroom! Voila! Ocean view! Check that out huh? Got the van next to the ocean. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this wonderful campsite is at the southwest point of Ireland. We're actually very, very close to the Galley Head Lighthouse. So if that's a point of interest for you, this would be a super amazing spot to go and check that out. Yeah, it was a bit of a thing getting the camper van in here. You know, it's a big vehicle and it's not 4x4 either. No. Uh, <laughs> we're going off-road a little bit here on gravel and grass. But we made it. We yeah. backed into it pretty good. And the reward is just so great. Okay, now I'm going to try to cook a dinner on this for the first time. Potatoes, some chip, basmati rice. Hello. All right, not the prettiest dish I ever made, <laughs> uh, but barbecue chicken, potatoes, and rice. Check out the view we're getting for dinner. Good morning, everyone. We're at our beautiful campsite still. We're getting ready. Mike's prepping all of his camera gear to charge while we drive. Um, so cross our fingers, everything gets charged up. But today's the day. We're actually gonna go do something. So, our plan for today is to start the Wild Atlantic Way Drive. This drive is about 2,500 kilometers, passing through nine different counties, and currently we are in Cork, which is the beginning of the route. You can do it, buddies. <laughs> you can do it. Cross the road. Oh my god, that's ah. hilarious. <laughs> parked and headed towards the Baltimore Beacon which is a major landmark here in Baltimore and it is said to guard the harbor here so that's pretty cool.
All right, you guys, I got my ear covering on because it is freezing with the wind. Um, weather's still gorgeous, so that's a plus. But anyways, we have made it up to Browhead and this is technically the southernmost point of the Irish mainland. So hopefully we get a peek of this and yeah, we will show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've had to hop a couple fences. Hopefully uh, we don't get fined. I mean, there's no sign that says we will get fined. <laughs> so yeah. God. This trail is beautiful, you guys. Oh, hello, drone. It's insane how tall these cliffs are, and honestly, these are not the tallest cliffs on this island. So, I just, I feel like my mind is just gonna keep getting blown. <laughs> well, I've made it. Mike's still uh, finishing up some drone stuff. Hopefully he can come and take a peek. But that is the southernmost point. Oh, so cool. Just a little safety note here. <clears throat> On a windy day, this can be a little bit sketch. Periodically, there's some <clears throat> gusts of wind that kind of just come out of nowhere, freak you out a bit, and not gonna lie, they kind of like push you over a little bit. So just be very cautious when you're here. Epic. We are now back on the road and we are headed to Mizen Head. I believe that's how you pronounce it. There is a bridge there that you are able to cross that's got some pretty epic scenery. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Can you see the beach? Probably not. Anyways, that beach looks really cool. to Mizen Head and honestly this is probably going to be the most touristy thing we do today. <laughs> the parking lot's very large so do not worry. See there's room for our little gal back there <laughs> um, and yeah tons of people so we might be standing in a little bit of a line but you know what this place is gorgeous and it's worth it. So this is the bridge, but in reality, uh, this isn't even that cool. Like the cool stuff is like is like that, and like and like and like that. <laughs> well, but the bridge gets you here, so that's, that's true. Why it's yes, I guess. So. We are on our final stop. We are headed toward three. Castle Head. Let me just double check that again. Three Castle Head. It's a about a two and a half kilometer hike. It's supposed to be super easy. It's really nice because the reason why I thought this place was such a hidden gem is because the castle is basically on the cliff's edge and so it basically just drops down and then the castle is also right beside a really beautiful lake and then past the lake you see the ocean so there's just like tons of dimension and yeah it's gorgeous. All right guys, so I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. This is day three in Ireland for us, but it's technically really day one because the first couple of days was just kind of settling in. And getting, getting over in, our jet lag. Getting over jet lag, <laughs> getting used to the van and all this stuff. So this is the first day that we actually went out and did a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, it was epic. It was awesome, but we're gonna call it for today and join us next time for another episode as we continue our Ireland camper van adventure. <laughs> all right, see, see you guys.